Milan here four seconds out with the victorious Julie Pocker and Lucas, who must be elated with the win. Uh, congratulations on the performance. Talk to me about how you're feeling. You must be over the moon. Parabéns pela performance. A melhor performance que a gente viu de uma mulher aqui. Fala pra gente como você está sentindo. Estou me sentindo muito bem e era a adversária que eu queria pegar e que mãozinha dura, Jesus Cristo. Mas eu estou muito feliz que eu consegui mostrar meu treinamento, consegui mostrar as minhas técnicas e estou pronta para outra. I'm very happy. I, I faced the opponent that I wanted because I knew she was the best in them. She has a really heavy hand. But thankfully I'm here as the winner and I'm ready for the next one. Coming out to the music and obviously all the Brazilian fans, there was a sea of gold and green in the arena. It looked like you were wiping tears from your eyes during the ring walk. Were you emotional just seeing the reception and hearing it from the fans? When you entered, we saw a mar verde and amarelo on the stage, and you were there on top of the palco, and we saw you wiping the tears. How emotional was it for you at that moment? Eu tentei esconder, né, que eu queria mostrar que eu era marruda, mas não deu não. É, não foi, é surreal, você, eu tô num país que não sei nem falar o idioma direito, então você chega lá e você vê aquele calor brasileiro, você se sente em casa, então isso dá toda a energia, todo, sabe, toda a força de vontade, assim, eu não sei explicar, foi uma coisa assim emocionante, só vivendo na pele para saber. Well, I tried to play the tears off, I tried to play the bad girl, but I couldn't, you know, like being here in a country that I don't even speak the language and seeing, you know, the Brazilian heat, I really felt like home. So it was an emotion that I still can't describe. The Brazilian heat indeed, and you bought the heat in the fight straight from the off in the first round. Look, we watched it back and we couldn't quite see it. It looked like maybe it was a slip, but it was a le legitimate punch. You knocked it down, but it wasn't called a knockdown. Uh, what, talk me through that, that knockdown that should have been called and were you disappointed that it wasn't called a knockdown? Logo no começo da luta você acertou uns golpes que você derrubou ela e ali na hora umas pessoas ficaram em dúvida se tinha sido um escorregão ou um knockdown. No replay ficou muito claro que você deu um knockdown nela logo no começo, mas o juiz não abriu contagem. Você ficou desapontado e isso atrapalhou um pouco a tua, tua cabeça quando ele não abriu o knockdown? Então, eu não entendi muito bem. Eu falei, Ai, mas foi, não foi? Eu fiquei na dúvida também. Eu falei, ah, vamos embora, né? Que continue, estamos <risos> aí, estamos treinados para isso, só vai. I, I, I actually didn't understand either why the ref didn't count the, the knockdown, but I was like, I was so mentally ready that I was just ready to go when the referee said fight again. I was like, okay, let's do it again. Let's let's get another one. Uh, there was a big moment. You didn't have it all your own way, but there was a moment where Elbrook looked like she rocked you with a right hand and your knees dipped. Uh, can you remember that shot? What happened there? And were you close to c touching the canvas at all? Teve um momento ali no final do segundo round, o Kael te deu um cruzado de direita e a tua perna deu uma bambeada. É, você lembra alguma coisa desse golpe? Foi difícil se manter em pé ali? Na hora que ela bateu no meu rosto, eu tava com o protetor bocal, eu não tava mordendo na hora. Então na hora que ela deu, eu dei uma sentida, eu falei... Hum, hum, hum. Ai, mas vamos, né? Voltou rapidinho, falei, é bora, para o gato. Quero ver se eu traduzi isso, boa sorte. Uh, right when El... El had me in that punch, I wasn't expecting it, so I wasn't uh, biting on my mouthpiece, so it came really unexpected, so my legs went, you know, crazy, and, uh, but I, I was like, okay, I, I'm still steady, I can keep going, and I said, okay, let, let, let's keep rolling. That seemed to be the point in the fight where it all turned and went all in your favor. We talked in the lead up to the fight. You said to me that the Brits don't really have the grit, determination and that kind of fire that the Brazilian, Brazilians do have. Was that what got you through those moments and through this fight and got you the win tonight? Logo depois desse momento, você passou a controlar e dominar a luta. E na entrevista você falou, na entrevista passada, você falou que o, o, os britânicos não têm esse mesmo sangue no olho, esse coração na ponta da luva que os brasileiros têm. Você acha que esse momento que a El teve te reboteou para começar a crescer de novo na luta para cima dela? A Ellen falou uma coisa ontem na nossa coletiva, que ela falou assim, quem ganhar é quem tem mais sede de ganhar. Se eu tivesse caído ali, eu ia levantar de qualquer jeito. Podia, podia me derrubar quantas vezes quisesse. Eu ia levantar porque eu tô para ganhar. Então, na hora que eu senti, eu falei, ah, teve uma hora que eu peguei a luva assim, ó, que eu limpei meu nariz e eu vi o sangue, eu falei, caralho, eu vou quebrar ela, entendeu? Aí nessa hora aí eu falei, pronto, é para isso que eu tô aqui, entendeu? Dá mais combustível. Eu funciono de uma forma diferente. El said at the press conference yesterday that uh, the winner would be the one with the biggest will to win, and I came to win. That was the only option for me, you know. I wasn't gonna, uh, uh, if I get knocked down there, I would just get up and 
keep fighting her, keep beating her up. So I was ready to win. You know, there, there was a point uh, in the fight where I, I, I cleaned my nose with my glove. I saw blood and I was like, I'm going to fucking get you now. So I was yeah. ready to go with her. I was angry and I was mad at her, but I, I knew that I was going to have to do what it takes to get the win. In the final, it's Barbie 3-6. You brought out the crucif crucifix uh, when you saw her. What are you going to need to bring to beat her in the final and get the uh, women's tournament victory? Now you're going to get Barbie in the final. You did the crucifix there, linking her. What does this mean for you, this final? How do you see this final? And what are you going to do to get this victory? É, eu queria muito pegar a Barbie, desde o, eu, queria, eu peguei todo mundo que eu queria, eu peguei a Daniela que me ofendeu na coletiva, peguei a Ellen Bro que era dona do cinturão e peguei a Barbie por conta que, pô, era uma pessoa assim, o estilo dela é diferente, eu acho que ficaria muito legal pro marketing da luta e era tudo que eu queria era pegar ela, é, claro que é outra estratégia de luta, a Barbie é mais alta, joga muitos cruzados, né, e é isso. É estudar, fazer uma estratégia gostosinha e é isso. Yeah, you know, like uh, I, I really wanted to face Barbie in the finals. I always said that to everybody that that asked me this question. Uh, I had the perfect tournament. I wanted to face Daniela in the first fight because he talked trash about me before the draw. Then I wanted to face Elle because she was the title holder. And now I want to face Barbie because you know she's the biggest character in the in the female division here. She she might be the biggest star. So I really want to, to face her. I think it's going to be a really good fight. It's a very different game plan for me because she's so much taller than Elle. Uh, but you know, I think it's you know throwing the cross. Uh, she, she has a lot of good crosses. So it's, it's studying how to counter those. And I'm, I'm ready to go. And lastly, could you send a message to the Brazilian fans that came here tonight and were watching around the world? Uma mensagem final agora para os fãs brasileiros que vieram e que estão assistindo ao redor do mundo. Muito obrigado para todos os brasileiros, também todas as pessoas a gringa que também torceram por mim, torceram pelo Brasil. Teve gente lá na plateia que falou: "Meu lugar tem meus, meus últimos centavos para estar aqui e valeu muito a pena, a gente que me acompanha há muitos anos. Eu só tenho a agradecer de coração a todo mundo que veio, a todas as mensagens nas minhas redes sociais. Eu Eu só ganhei por causa de vocês. É, é, é muito obrigada. Só isso. Thank you so much to every Brazilian that came here. The, all the Brazilians that watch me on TV. You know, I saw so so many people here coming to me, crying after my win, saying, "Oh, I saved my last few cents to to come and watch you, and you made it all worth it." So I'm super grateful for everybody, and that's it. Congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. Well done.